What's going on guys? My name is Jay and in this video we're gonna convert a PSD file to HTML. And as you can see, I'm here inside Photoshop. I have a very basic design of a website right here. And something very important, my layers are very organized. They are renamed and everything. So make sure you organize your Photoshop file, okay? So you can see I have here a folder named Hero Image. Is this right here. If you open that, we have the PSD to HTML title and we have a beautiful photo by my friend Michael. I'm gonna post a link of Michael's Instagram and you can see his beautiful photos. If you wanna use one of his photos for, for your project, please ask him first. Okay, now that my PSD Photoshop file is organized and I'm happy with everything, I'm gonna use this app called Rackets. It's a free text editor. It's open source by Adobe, the same people that created Photoshop. I'm gonna post this link so you can go there, you can read about it, and you can download the app for free. Now, after we have the app, we're gonna open the app, and you can see that I have here uh, some HTML elements with some CSS. Before we get started, you need to know HTML and CSS so you can follow everything that I'm doing. You don't have to be an expert but you need to know the basics. Okay. Now, after we are here, you can see that I only have a uh, reset CSS that I have right here. Don't worry, I'm gonna post this whole project on the description so you can go and download it. You don't have to now go and, and search for the reset CSS and all that. And uh, I have a style CSS. This is empty. There's nothing there, okay? Now I'm gonna use a tool called Extract. You can find that tool right here on your top right. You can click there. And now all your files inside your Creative Cloud are gonna be available for you right here. And um, I already have a folder called PSD to HTML. I'm gonna click there. And I have already my PSD file, but you can drag and drop your file right here. Remember, you're gonna need a Creative Cloud account to have access to these files. I'm gonna click there. All right, and you can see here that my PSD is right here. It's looking beautiful, looking perfect. All my layers are here with all my files. And you can see if you click, for example, this background image, they are giving us the width, the height, the position, the X and Y position, and you can change it to percentage. That's super useful. If you hold your shift key and click, let's say, for example, this title, they are giving us, you know, like the space between that uh, element and the top and the bottom, right and left. So it's super, super useful. All right, I'm gonna start creating my container. So let's create a div with a class of container. And everything's gonna be inside this container. I'm gonna first create this uh, title with this beautiful background image. So let's say, let's create a div with a class of hero image. Okay, and inside that hero image, we're gonna have an H1 title. You can be H2, whatever, or whatever you want really. And I can click here and copy the text. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna paste it right here. And that's it. So let's save our HTML. Let's go to our style.css. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a container class. The width of this container is gonna be the same width of this big image. So I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna start typing width. And you can see that they are giving us the width of that image right there. So you can just click there and that's it. You have the width. I want to center this container. So let's do margin zero automatic all right i'm good with that let's add a background color let's say something like this so we can see some color right there all right let's save it let's see how it looks let's go here to my page let's reload and there we have it we have the container with that gray color as you can see it's on the middle is centered and our title is right there. 
Now I need to add some style to that title and add this background uh, photo and everything. So we need to create this class. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. Hero image. All right. So I'm going to click on the image. Make sure you click on the image and I'm going to add a background. And here you can see that they're giving us the option to use the image, that background image. I'm going to click there and they're telling us that, you know, they're going to create a folder and everything's going to be extracted from this, from this file. And actually you can change it to whatever you want here. So I'm going to change it to this format. You can change it to P PNG if you want to or whatever you want really. And that's it. You can click enter. Look, they created an images folder because that's what we did right here. And inside there, we have the, the photo. Now we need to add some space between the title. So I'm gonna click on the photo and shift click on the title. And we have 155 pixels from uh, the top to the title. And we have almost the same thing, I think is like one pixel difference. Well, I'm going to use 155 pixels. So let's add some padding, 155 pixels and zero. We're going to align the text to the center. So let's do that. The background, actually the background uh, size, I'm going to change it to cover. Let's save that. Let's see how, it's, how it looks. And look at that. Our beautiful image is right there. The title is here that we are going to style right now, but everything is looking awesome. Let's go H1. All right, we have the H1 inside the hero image. So we're gonna do dot hero image Oops, sorry, your image, H1. And now I'm gonna click on that text. So font size, it say that it's 72 pixels. I'm gonna click there, font family. It said that it's Roboto, click there. And the color, it says that it's white. So perfect. So everything is provided for us. Let's see how it looks. Look at that so beautiful and it was super quick let's go back to brackets and um, let's scroll down a little bit here and the next thing we need to create is this block with this text okay so let's go to the index html all right let's create a div with a class of oops sorry div with a class of text block or whatever you want. And here we can add a paragraph tag and we need to add the text right here. So I'm going to click on the text. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm just going to click here on copy text and paste it right there. Perfect. All right. Now we need to add some style to it. So let's create this class. Let's go to the style.css. Let's go here. All right. Click on your text and the same thing. Let's say uh, font size. It say that is 16 pixels. Font family. It says that it's Helvetica. Um, what else? The line height it says that it's 24 pixels. The color of the text is this one right here and of course we need we need to center that text because it's is right there in the center so let's do that and we need to add some padding because you see that we have some padding right here and right here so let's click and we have 78 pixels top and the bottom we have a little bit but i'm gonna just choose 78 for top and bottom and we have 133 pixels left and right. So let's do that. 
I'm sorry that I don't have you know perfect numbers top and bottom and but don't worry because we can fix that on the code so it's gonna be 78 pixels top and bottom and 133 pixels left and right background color all right is this one right here it's like a gray and I think we are good we have all we need so let's save that let's save the, the HTML too let's see what we have all right looking perfect the only thing that we need is a little bit of margin because uh, I noticed that we have you know this margin so let's see what what we have all right we have 30 pixels from here to here we have 30 pixels so I'm gonna add some uh, margin let's go to the CSS here so margin 30 pixels bottom and top and zero left and right now let's see all right of course we need to remove that background uh, container we have gray background you can change it to white or you can just remove that let's save it and look at that we have the perfect 30 pixels margin that we have right here on the PSD file I think we are done with that now let's go and create this copyright thingy let's scroll down here let's create a div class with copyright and we can create a paragraph let's click there let's copy the text let's paste it okay awesome and we need to create this class let's go here all right let's click there and the fun family is Helvetica um, of course I'm repeating this fun family uh, is not a good practice um, but I'm just doing it for the video but if you're repeating again and again something uh, you can do it in one class and you don't have to repeat it all over again but I'm just showing you how easy it is to get information from PSD to code we got the font family now we need a font size okay we need to center the image so text and line center the image okay the color is white and the background background color is uh, oops sorry I need to click on this one right here and now we have the background color and we need to add some padding too so let's see how much is the padding it is 29 pixels let's do it 30 30 pixels so padding 30 pixels and zero left and right so let's save that and let's save the HTML and let's see how it looks perfect all right and we are done with that landing page I know it's very basic and in the code for example you can fix some stuff like the width you can do it something like width 100% and then here you can add like math a max width of this so things like this you can do it so we so it can be responsive and looks good on phones and tablets but for this video I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get you know the details and information from your PSD file and put it on your code this is how I convert my PSD files to HTML very very quickly all right so that's it for this video I hope it helps you know if you have questions comment below send me an email send me a tweet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn more subscribe I'm uploading one video every week so 
See you next week. Bye bye.